I wouldn't say that Vasilevsky's playoff aura is totally gone, right? Those type of goaltenders like the Grand Fjords and Patrick Waugh and Marty Broder, well, they developed that aura because they were winners. But at any given playoffs or any given games in the playoffs, that aura could disappear. Uh, and it's happened to Fjord, Raw, and Broder. So it is, is happening in the first round here for Andre Vasilevsky. And the reason why the Leafs have to look at game four and make it so important to take that 3-1 lead is because at any given moment, Vasilevsky's aura can come back. Let's take a look at Vasilevsky throughout the last five years in the playoffs. In 2019, he gets swept by the Columbus Blue Jackets. In, in four games, he's 856 save percentage. Columbus never allowed Vasilevsky to get back to his game, right? In 2020 and 2021, both Stanley Cup playoffs wins for Vasilevsky. In the first round, he goes with a 930 and a 929 save percentage. Last season, a, after four games where the Leafs were 2-2. Two and two. He had an 880 save percentage. The Leafs allowed Vasilevsky to get back to his aura in game 5, 6, and 7, where he had a 910 save percentage in those three games. So they opened the door for Vasilevsky to get back to his game. It happened last season. Now this year, Vasilevsky's 1-2 with an 853 save percentage in three games. You know that at any moment, that game, that, that top Vasilevsky aura can come back. It cannot be for the Leafs in game four. They have to continue to make him uncomfortable, to push him back in his crease, and to make him look human. Because we know at any moment it could be Vasilevsky, the superhuman, back in the crease. So, no, Vasilevsky's not lost his playoff aura. It can always come back. But it is in the Leafs' hand. And like it was last year in game four, when Vasilevsky and the Tampa Bay Lightning were able to win that one, it has to be a different scenario for the Leafs to continue on their path in Game 4 in this one.